Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and today's a beautiful day. It's Friday and we're just pumping through these tutorials and um, in today's tutorial we're going to talk about something that's pretty important to the list. Um, list stores data. All right, It stores a lot of information and we would like the ability to um, be able to find if something exists in a list. So like I've told you before, lists contain objects. And we would like to know if an object exists in a list. Now there's two op operators that give us that ability. And these operators are referred to as membership operators. Um, and membership operators will return a boolean, true or false. So the first operator we're going to look at is in, I-N. Um, and the in operator will return true if an object exists in a list or a string or a tuple, any type of sequence. Um, we did not look at this in strings and I'll show you an example in a string. Um, but also we have another operator called not in, N-O-T space I-N. And the not in operator re will return true if the object does not exist in the list. So let's take a look at some examples. First off, we're going to create a list. We're just going to create a simple list here. We're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. And there's our list. All right, we'll call our list just to show you that the list does exist. And now we want to see if something exists in there. So let's say um, does one, is one in A? Now A represents our list that we just created, all right? If I hit return, I'm gonna get true. So one does exist in our list. Um, how about zero? Does that exist in our list? No, it does not. So false, we get return false. Now, like I said, there's another operator we can work with and that is um, not in. So let's say uh, is zero not in in A. Hit return. True. It's not in there. How about uh, 1? Not, oops, that's not how you spell not. Not in A. False. Because it's, it's not, it is in A, so it returns false. So that's how we check if an object's in a list. And like I said, I'd show you how to do it with the string. So let's do B is equal to Python. Alright. Hit return. And we're going to say is y in b. Hit return. Oh. Well, y is not in b because I need to make a string. Whoopsie. I screwed up. Anyway, let's do y in b. Hit return. It's true. Now, you see what happened there is I said is y in b. So Python's thinking, uh, name error because this is not a variable. And we want to know if the string y is in b. And it is true. How about we do um, is p in b. Now, this is going to return false. No, it's not. Well, hey, Python, it's case sensitive. So it would have to be a capital p in b. And we get true. And the same thing works with... Uh, Oops. P not in B true because lowercase p is not in B. So that is membership operators. And when we get into like flow control and stuff like that, um, these things come really important. Um, like if statements and stuff like that will uh, be using a lot of these. So just remember that we can check if something exists in a sequence using in and not in. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video. We'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.